you to Union Presbyterian Church as we gather to celebrate the wedding ceremony of Mitchell Lee Ward and Sarah Simmons Hall as they join their lives together in marriage. Scripture likens the union of a man and a woman to that of God and His children. Though mysterious in many ways, the joining of two lives demonstrates the covenant between a husband and a wife in the holy state of matrimony. As we come to this time, who gives Sarah to be married to Mitchell? Her mother and I. Will you join me as we pray? We come to this time, Father, seeking your presence. Not only your presence there with you, but also we ask that you would grant us your Holy Spirit here today. As Mitchell and Sarah join their lives together, Father, we pray that this union would be blessed by you that their lives would bring glory and honor to you as they live their lives and begin their journey together. Father, bring your spirit here to this place. Fill us with your love and your glory. May joy surround us all, Father, this day as we celebrate Mitchell and Sarah. And Father, we lift this prayer to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mitchell and Sarah, you believe that God has given a special hand to your lives. That God in His infinite wisdom has called your lives to cross each other for this special day. Marriage is a holy union and most honorable. It is not to be entered into lightly or without thoughtful reflection. Mitchell and Sarah, as you come to the altar this afternoon to join your lives together as a couple, do you come to this place with that commitment to each other before God? If so, please say we do. captured in a passage in 1 Corinthians 13. It describes love as God gives us His step. And it reads, If I could speak all the languages of the earth and of angels that didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secret plans, and possessed all knowledge. And if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but did not love others, I would be nothing. If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. Love is therefore patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way, it is not irritable, and it keeps no record of wrongs. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices wherever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, it is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Now, Mitchell, will you repeat after me? I, Mitchell, take you, Sarah, to be your lawfully wedded husband. 
I promise to be true and faithful to you in all those life circumstances as we face them together. In the joys and sorrows, the good times and bad, in sickness or in health, I will always be there for you, to comfort you, love you, honor and cherish you, now and forevermore. Now, Sarah, you will repeat after me. I, Sarah, take you, Mitchell, to be your lawfully wedded wife. I promise to be true and faithful to you in all of life's circumstances as we face them together. In the joys and sorrows, the good times and bad, in sickness and in health, I will always be there for you to comfort you, love you, honor and cherish you now and forevermore. Mitchell and Sarah, now that you have committed your lives to each other, it is time to exchange the rings as an outward symbol of this commitment. The content of the metal of these rings symbolizes purity and the unending circle signifies your commitment to each other as an unending union. Pray that you will have no end to your happiness and joy as long as you both shall live. Mitchell, I ask that you now take this ring and place it on the third finger of Sarah's left hand. And as you do, please repeat after me. With this ring, I pledge my life and my love to you. <coughs> now, Sarah, will you take this ring and place it on the third finger of Mitchell's left hand? And as you do, repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I, pledge my life I pledge my life and my love to you.
today with Mitchell and Sarah to celebrate the joining of their lives. We pray that as this couple commits their lives to each other, that they recognize this commitment of their union to you as well. Grant your wisdom to each of them as they begin their journey together as a married couple. When the sun is shining, give them joy. When the crowds, clouds roll in, give them peace to bear against the winds and the rain. May they find fulfillment in this union and have clarity in all of their decisions. That they may know, Father, you have given a divine seal of approval to this union. And may they never forget you as their source of all things. Father, as we come to you this afternoon, we lift this prayer to you in your most holy and gracious name. Amen. Mitchell and Sarah, now that you have made this commitment to each other and have before God, and these witnesses sealed your commitment with these words and the exchanging of the rings, and by the power vested in me by the state and as a minister of the gospel. I now acknowledge husband and wife. Mitchell, you may kiss you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell Lee Ward. Every moment 
here and now with you No, nothing is better with you I feel brand new You and I can run away till we take flight Nothing in our sight can take away what we can do tonight Can take away what we can do tonight I gotta be honest, I'm feeling tired tonight 